for a few hundred dollars and a couple of hours of your time, you can toss your clumpy mascara and have full long lashes for weeks on end. But eye doctors are seeing another trend with extensions, a jump in eyelash mites. Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now to talk about why. And is this the same thing, Beth, as, as like lice? So it is lice. not the okay, same thing. So I think there was some confusion, confusion in the reports that you were seeing. So this is Demodex. And Demodex, um, that is not lice. They're tiny parasitic mites that live on our skin pretty naturally. And if you're really good about wiping off your makeup at night or washing your face, you probably aren't going to have a mite problem. But if you don't really clean your eyes, especially your lashes, you may have mites because excess oil and dead skin is, are both what they love. Anita Allen loves her long, thick eyelashes. They're extensions professionally applied about once a month by her sister. It's singled lashes attached to your natural lash. Once the lashes are glued on, they last anywhere from about three to four weeks before they start to fall off. And Allen, who's an assistant at Eye Consultants of Atlanta, an ophthalmology practice, says the investment of her time and money in the lashes is worth it. So I could wake up every day looking fabulous. Allen says she's never had a problem with eyelash extensions, but her boss, eye surgeon Dr. Michael Roach, says the extensions can be problematic for a couple of reasons, and one is allergies. I've seen some folks show up with eyelid irritation, probably from the glues that are used to hold the lashes in place, uh, allergic reactions there. The other potential problem problem? These guys. We all probably all have some Demodex what is microbes. Demodex? Explain that. It's a mite. The mites naturally live on our face and at the base of our lashes, usually without causing any problems. But Dr. Roach says if you're wearing your extensions for long periods of time and not taking care of them, oil and dead skin can build up along your lash line, opening kind of a mite buffet. So a certain number are normal and probably healthy, but if you have an overabundance, then we'll have troubles with eyelid swelling, redness, irritation. If your lashes are itching or you're developing tiny irritated bumps along your lash line, you may have a mite problem. So how can you protect yourself if you love your extensions? You just want to make sure you're brushing them daily. Make sure you're brushing them at least three to four times a day. Um, trying to keep your fingers out of your eye. Cleaning without an oily product can be helpful because the, the mites do seem to feed on oils. And Dr. Roach recommends using a mild cleanser like maybe baby shampoo. He says you can dilute it and then wipe down your eye and rinse it off. And if you're worried that your extensions could fall out by doing that, just be gentle and use maybe a Q-tip to clean along the lash line. And don't forget to comb out your lashes. That's something that Anita says she does, you know, three to four times a day. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure you're taking care of them. Absolutely. That's what it sounds like for sure. Okay, yeah. so if you have mites, Beth, is it something that you'll know you have? So not not necessarily because we all have mites, you know, to some degree on our skin. It's just when you have that overpopulation that you can start to have itching, redness, irritation around your lash line and on your lids. So the problem isn't necessarily with the lash extensions. It's how it's how we're caring for them, That's absolutely right? right. Yeah. So the lash extensions are synthetic, so they're usually not going to be the problem. The problem is not taking care of them. Feeling a little itchy all of a sudden. I know. I am too. <laughs> Good to know, though, and very important if you do have lash extensions yeah. to make sure you're doing this. Beth, thanks for the help thanks, today. Elise. We appreciate it. Time is 936, and let's check back in with Good Day Atlanta's Buck Lanford for more of our top stories. Good morning, Buck. Good morning to you, Elise. And